Hello everyone, this is ASMR. If today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial, today we'll sh just uh, watch that how to change the background. Okay, I downloaded some photos from the deviant.com. So, this photo stock image, and I'll give this stock download image or download link in my video description. So, don't forget to check it out. Okay, our first work is that uh, we have to cut out, cut this out from the sky and then we will replace the sky. After that, we will do color correction uh, from the camera filter and add some effects, lights. Okay, let's start. At first, I am making copy by pressing Ctrl J and after that, I will cut this out uh, by the help of the pen tool. Here is the pen tool. Can take this one or you can press the P from the keyboard okay I'll start from here okay I'm moving forward Okay, after that press the right button and make selection, make it 0 pixel and hit OK. Okay, and after that we will go to the select option and press the shift key and hold it and press select and mask option. You will get this one and red area is not selected and white area is selected. I will refine the edge that's why just I uh, will smooth edge at first reduce the smart reducer and contrast a little bit and feather a little bit and I'll increase the brush size by pressing the uh, third bracket closing and I'll just brush and refine the edges okay. Little bit, I'll refine for the perfection. Uh, it will help you to make it more perfect. Okay, okay that's good. Okay, now go to the selection and new with the make new layer mask and hit the OK button. Okay, uh, you'll get a transparent background, but uh, here is one of the just area which is not selected. So again, go to the pen tool and select this one. It's easy to select this and select the area and just make like that. And press the right button and make it selection and hit OK. And now select this mask and this select in a picture, not in a mask, and press the delete button and press Ctrl D or deselect. And now uh, we'll add another sky. Okay, I'll go to the filter and place the embedded option. Here is the sky. Okay, but the sky is uh, not rotated properly, and I'm just I press the shift key and hold it and rotate this one easily and make it bigger and adjust with the background okay i want to make it a little bit blurry in the background this one at first go to the right button and just restylize this layer and go to the filter and the blur gallery and the tail shift and i'll make it like little bit blurry okay. just turn this one like that and light you can increase and hit the okay button you'll get a nice blurry effect uh, by this effect or uh, this filter the tail shape blur 
you can you can use this blur in your any kind of image when you are just customize your backgrounds okay after that i'll adjust this one a little bit okay i want to make it blue okay that's why just taking this one okay in this sunset uh, just select this one and go to the adjustment layer and go to the level and just mask this and adjust the light a little bit okay it will help you to adjust light with the model and the sky okay and then select this one and okay select this layer and go to the adjustment and go to the color balance from the color balance the i'll make the cyan minus 10 and the green plus 4 or plus 1 is good and yellow okay that's good and after that go to the gradient map from the gradient map select the gradient which is the violet orange and hit ok and go to the blending mode and make it the skin mode uh, actually soft light is good and just reduce the opacity okay you get nice warm color okay and select all the layers and make it group take a blank layer make it a uh, snapshot and go to the filter and camera raw filter from the camera raw filter i'll add some colors or adjust the face color or other colors okay uh, at first i'll add some vignette that is uh, from the effect a little bit okay and go to the hsl option from the hsl option i'll increase the luminance of orange decrease the saturation of orange a little bit decrease the saturation of red okay that's good and from the saturation blue i'll reduce a little bit for the turn and just blue luminance and from the hue add some red uh, pink uh, it will be visible in a face uh, actually the leaves increase the saturation of red and then camera calibration i will play with the primary blue color and green color a little bit and to the red color okay and after that go to the amount of sharpening add some sharpness and add some luminance noise reducer and the luminance contrast that's good and now the basic one decrease the highlight a little bit and increase the shadow a little bit decrease the blacks a little bit and increase the white a little bit and exposure a little bit that's good from the curves uh, go to the blue curves select here and just make it like that and go to the red curves select here and just make it a little bit warmly like that that's good and go to the rgb and select here increase here and just add some shadows grammar uh, and then again in a white balance and basic options make it a little bit warm make it like that actually i make it cool minus four and plus four that's good and hit the ok button you'll get a huge change from the previous one which was our stock image and the dreamy effect and uh, I should add some just a shadow actually not necessary and then I'll go to the adjustment layer and I'm going to the color lookup from the color lookup I will experiment something which is perfect for this image I think uh, horror blue no not the foggy not really uh, moonlight not really uh, I like to experiment this type of okay this one is good but I want to reduce the opacity only 9% that sounds good and select these two things make it group 
make it March. After that, just I'll make two copies of this photo, one for Dodge and one for Burn. And I will add Dodge Burn for the perfect shadow and highlight. Okay, select the Burn option, Burn layer actually, and go to the Skin Mode and go to the Blending Options and slide is work with the slider and find out the highlighted area and just press the alter button and divide this one and add the light with it just adjust this one okay and hit the ok button make it mask and go to the image and apply image and hit the ok button after that just turn on the delayer and make it multiply go to the blending mode actually blending options and work with this slider and shadow areas i'll find out just press the alter button and click here and adjust the light with this one and hit the ok and again mask this one go to the image and apply image and make it invert and hit ok select this two layer make it group make it match and then image and apply image in this case just uncheck the invert option and hit ok it'll get subtle change shadow and highlighted area which is uh, necessary for the picture if you want to get the proper feel of this picture okay make it group make it merge and then let's see what was the previous one and the present one okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel for another new tutorial and share with your friend thank you so much i am asmr signing out and bye bye